In this lesson, I'll show you how to integrate fractions with a quadratic denominator. This is question one. The function that they want us to integrate is shown right here. We have four over x to the power of two plus three x minus one with respect to x. Notice that in the numerator position, there is a number, and in the denominator position, there's the quadratic expression. We'll start by writing the denominator in the form u to the power of two minus a to the power of two. And keep in mind that this technique only works when the numerator is occupied by a single number, like this. Notice that this expression is a difference of squares. So how do we convert this standard form quadratic into a difference of squares? The first step is to complete the square. So let's start by completing the square. We do have a separate lesson on how to complete the square. I'll show you quickly here, but if you need more practice, feel free to view that video. What you do is you place brackets around the first two terms of your standard form quadratic equation. Notice that our x to the power of two term does not have a leading coefficient, so that's a good thing. If it did, you'd have to factor it out from the first two terms. Next, you will identify your b term. Our b term is three x. So we'll take three, the coefficient, divided by two, and square it. This gives us nine over four. I'll take nine over four and add it and subtract it to what's inside, specifically the brackets. x to the power of two plus three x plus nine over four minus nine over four. Always add and then subtract. Brackets minus one. Next step is to take out this negative nine over four. This gives us x to the power of two plus three x plus nine over four minus nine over four minus one. You'll notice now that we have a perfect square trinomial. And because it's a perfect square trinomial, we can write this out as x, you take this number, plus three over two to the power of two, and you'll simplify minus nine over four minus one. You should end up with minus 13 over four. You can always use your calculator for that as well. So we wanted our quadratic to be written as u to the power of two minus a to the power of two. Our quadratic doesn't look like that yet. To make it look like that, where this represents our u and this represents our a, we have to square root both the top and the bottom of this fraction and power it to two. And by doing that, you end up with, well, 13 over four. But the difference now is that this term is a perfect square exactly what we wanted when we started. We wanted a perfect square here, a perfect square here, and those two perfect squares being subtracted. This is known as the difference of squares. So let's clean this up a little further. We have x plus three over two, that's a perfect square, minus the square root of 13 over two to the power of two. I just took the square root of four and that's two. Now we have the format u squared minus a squared. And because of that, we can use the following integration rule, where if we have one over u squared minus a squared, we can break it down into one over two a times ln absolute of u minus a over u plus a plus c. Let's go ahead and do that. We have one over two times a, our a value here is the square root of 13 over two. The square root of 13 over two times ln in absolute x plus three over two minus our a value, which was the square root of 13 over two all over x plus three over two, and now we add our a value. And in case you're confused as to how I found x plus three over two, remember this represents our u value. And our u value is the following, where we have u is equal to x plus three over two. Your next step and your final step is to evaluate this as much as you can. Look, this part over here if you put it into your calculator, you'll end up with a number, and these parts will also give you a number. 
Therefore, you should end up with the final answer of approximately 1.109 ln absolute of x minus 0 0.303 and x plus 0 0.303. And I encourage you to do this on your calculator just to make sure that you can come up with these numbers. Plus our arbitrary value c. And that's the answer to the question. In question two of this series, we'll focus on a function where we have an expression as opposed to a number in the numerator position. And there you have it. That is how to integrate fractions with a quadratic denominator.